He's on top of things. He is. Slayer's that boxer does not pick up chumps. <laughs> All right? That's actually <laughs> that is true. That's the truth right that there. That is true. Uh, well, both players are, are ready to go. Let's go ahead and just hit start game and jump into, into MLG Shakura's Plateau. I, I love seeing game threes on, on a macro map. It, it's like yeah. back, back yeah. earlier in, in StarCraft II, like game three steps of Warriors, like what? <laughs> Why is this even being played? Like this is the biggest joke oh, ever. Oh, <laughs> that's so funny because it's so true. It's, it's like you just make four seed shanks and siege them on your little ledge and you yeah, both yeah, take yeah. three base and you're like, what now? <laughs> yeah, that steps of war was just... That was a silly, silly little map. That was a terrible map. You know, if you would just like 2x the size of it, I think that would be a, a really great map. You think so? Yeah. I, I like I like the ideas behind you, you where leave, the bases are. Yeah, and you stuff. leave the bases. You, you don't add in any more bases. No, no, you keep it the same, but just make it like literally twice as big. Hmm. Make it like as big as Shattered Temple. You know? Yeah, yeah. Maybe maybe Blizzard is listening, and they'll actually do that. Oh, they're listening, JP. They're listening. They yeah. watch MLG, man. Who doesn't watch MLG? You guys better be hashtagging MLG on Twitter. It's true. It's we true. want it trending. You guys are going to embarrass me if it doesn't trend. Uh oh. GSL, we get trending, man. We yeah. got to get MLG trending as well. We do. We do. And uh, of course, you could follow Artosis on Twitter. I'm it's Artosis. Simply Artosis, yeah. That's what are you? It's the easiest thing. I'm, I'm it me, JP. Yeah, why are you it me? Why not it's me? Be because S's are just. They're, they're very swirly characters, man. Yes, they are. They're like snakes. You, you can't. Yeah, you can't trust an S. Like <laughs> you can't trust an S. You don't know what's gonna happen. Oh my God, you're actually like a very negative Sesame Street. <laughs> this is true. This yeah, is true. man. <laughs> you like, like tell the kids, you're like, don't <laughs> trust the letter S. And some poor kid that's named an S word. I actually can't think of any names with S right now. I'm so tired. Sean, Chef, Sean, Simon. Oh my. That's like the hardest. You don't thing trust to say, him at all, do you? No, he. That guy. He, he may seem nice, but I know. I know, man. I know. He's actually a terrible person on the inside. He's actually like the nicest person to ever grace the StarCraft II world. No, I know. Yeah, I just got to make sure. I don't want people just hating on it. Like, JP and Artosha said he's actually <laughs> the rudest guy ever. But uh, anyways, we got Dignitas Show spawning up here as, of course, the blue Terran on the top half of MLG Shakura's plateau. And down here is, of course, MMA, the Korean superstar uh, coming out of... Uh, he's Code S now, right? No, actually, uh, he he rushed Huck, and Huck held it like a boss. Oh, that's right. Yeah, man. So he's actually still Code, but he is Code S quality. It's Code S material. Code S in my heart. He'll make it in next time. Like, yeah, yeah. Almost no question. It's, it's actually, I mean, you and you and Nick talk about this so much. It is impossibly hard to mm -hmm. get out of Code. To even get into Code is like yeah, no, the it, biggest feat ever. The Korean tournament circuit is actually ludicrous. It's so hard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so both players are going to be. Uh, sending out some Marines here. Looks like it's a race to the Zil Naga Tower. And uh, MMA is uh -oh. actually going to win. He's going to get some shots off for <laughs> yeah, him because man. of this brush. And Show's he green is so forward. dead. Yeah, yeah Show's he, he can't even run really at that point. No, uh, he may as well just fight it. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we actually have a fast expand here coming out of Show. That is a very fast expand. But MMA is actually teching JP, getting uh -oh. a second gas already. Back here on the side of his base. Will it be... Uh, blue Flame Hellion drop, or will it be Banshees? You know, I feel like every time I see a Blue Flame Hellion drop, at least a lot of times, maybe it's not really bad memories, it never works as well as the player wants it you to. You know, it seems that way, doesn't it? it? I think what happened was at first it never worked because everyone was so bad with Hellions, and then it worked for a little bit, and everyone was like, you got aware of it, and then it never worked again. Yeah. That's see I still love the build, though. I it's think true. It, it just, I look at it, and I'm like, yes. Well, I, I feel like when players do it, you're just like, I, I'm the best player ever. I just controlled my Hellion so well. You get mm. so many SCVs kills I if know. it actually goes well. It's like if they run, you kill more. It makes no real sense. Right, it's like right, right. Got a, kind of a small little push here. Uh, weird aggression coming out of MMA. He sees that bunker, mm. uh, which was definitely a smart choice from yeah, Show. It, it just falls back. But uh, I've never seen a, a Marine move out like that this early on. I, if I do see it, it's always with a Hellion or with a tank added on or something mm. like that. That's actually very, very true. He did not even know about the uh, the command center or anything, so right, right. he was actually just going for broke. And in fact, the only player I've seen move out with three Marines and an SCV before is Slayer's Boxer. Really? He has done that in TBT before. In it fact, Tasis and I were like, what are you doing, Boxer? <laughs> and I think it's a metagame thing where you're like, well, people normally get four Marines, so why would right. you skip down to two? That and then three and an SCV owns it. Right, right. I, I feel like Boxer is just... He may not be the, the best player right now in StarCraft yeah. 2, but he is just 
it's so fun to watch. He's so creative. And if that's rubbing off on MMA, that's actually so, so awesome. Because MMA oh, yeah. is, is just a, a great Terran player. And I, I'd love to see creative builds like that. Both players are actually getting the hardest word to say in StarCraft II, the Infernal Pre-Igniter. So many guys. Blue man. Yeah, it's, it's just blue flame. It's blue flame. I heard they're changing it in Heart of the Swarm. Changing really? Changing the name to blue flame. I was actually out there. I, I didn't hear that. Did you, you didn't like, hear that? Did you get like a special treatment? No, I made that up. I'm just trying to start a rumor so it happens. I'm like, so depressed. Now. <laughs> make it up. It's all right. I'll just make new MLG mastery where it's actually renamed. <laughs> I should. We should just go in there and like rename everything to some crazy, crazy stuff. Name like the SCV like, like bit by bit. And that Marine, you name him Marine King. That would. That would actually. Yeah, we got a drop here coming, and it's not just going to be an eight Marine drop. Oh man, he has nothing spotting this right now. He's JP. actually going to do an elevator here with these blue flame Hellions. Uh, oh this my. is going to do a lot of damage. The oh show my. is actually going cloaked. Oh Banshee. no, one of the, one uh, of the... Oh, he really messed up there. Should have had those oh. all in at the same time. In fact, oh my god, he should have had those all in the same time. Because Blue Flame Hellions own Hellions pretty hard. Yeah. And uh, taking a lot of damage at the moment. Look at that, two Hellions oh, going wow. down, but just... Ah, if he had had those... Oh, oh wow. Oh. That is huge. The SCVs oh, are coming. Kind of, show does not want to engage that Hellion Blue Flame. Of course, just rip through it. We actually have a, a depot here that uh, had the command center throw down an extra depot. Extra uh, supply drops, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the uh, Viking here has landed. Show really not sure how to engage us. There was a lone Helen that actually has eight kills. Nine Slip kills Nine now. kills. There he finally goes nine. Wow. That attack, uh, supplies are pretty even right now. If we go into the income, we've got 29 harvesters, four MMA, and 37 for show. So... That attack did a lot of damage, but I, I still feel like Show is ahead right now because that expansion is up and running. That is actually very interesting, and I think, yeah, you are right. And it, watching the drop, I'm like, well, MMA will probably get ahead here. Yeah, but he kind of messed up with, with the hell yeah, he around it. If he had, if he had engaged, he actually off. should have just dropped the three and gone. He would have done twice as good. Right, um, right. You know, really micro them against that. But as we see, there is a club Banshee, so. This is part of the reason why his supply is behind. He's really spent a lot of money investing into this, and what? oh my, is this that is that is not good. That missile turret can see a very long way, JP. Yeah, that, I mean, it was actually off screen. That missile turret actually had binoculars. Oh, wow, I, I didn't actually see this Hellion attack here. Let's see how many... Uh, why, why don't you do some counting there on those Hellions in the middle of the map? I, I want to see how many SCVs that actually killed it. You can like pull up none. control R. Yeah, actually, only one worker is killed... Uh, there for show. Uh, but we do have the expansion up now for MMA. Uh, a ton of unit producing structures there for show. Four factories I right now. I love it, man. He's going for the mech style again. Up revolutionizing TVT at the yeah. moment. Goody is uh, uh, Goody's like the, the prime example. I love watching him play. He's the mech commander, mm. so to speak. Those, those JPEGs over on Reddit are actually hilarious. <laughs> uh, yeah, th this is very exciting stuff. He's still doing this off of two base. Uh, or actually, no, he's about to have a third. They snuck in a third uh, command center I am there in his name. I show's play. Show is... Uh, he's really showing us different things you can do in TV. I feel like I need to, like, jab myself in the rib for the full effect <laughs> of that joke. Uh, but, yeah, it, it's really... You come to a place like MLG Columbus to, to prove that you are... You, you can hang with the best in the world. Yeah. And I think Show is doing that right now. Or is MMA doing that by playing against Show? Because show, I mean, this guy has won a lot of tournaments. That's, uh, yeah, he, he's actually here's the thing. Um, MMA is great. He's he's done very well, especially in the team league. Right. He's in code A. That's awesome. But show has a lot of tournament wins. And here's he the does. thing again. I mean, as we said, he's an underrated player. He doesn't really self promote. No one it's really true. pays attention to him that much. But he's one of the best in the world, man. I think you have to give him that over giving MMA that. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely, I, I mean, MMA is definitely the up-and-comer here, so to speak. Yeah. Show is just kind of the old veteran who actually doesn't say much, so people just forget him because everyone yeah. tends to, to follow whoever has the loudest mouth sometimes. <laughs> and StarCraft too, to be pretty blunt. But yeah, that's quite true. Supplies here are definitely starting to get in favor of Show down up to 92. We have a, a lone Banshee sneaking into the back of this. Hopefully we want the full position next to this turret. Uh, but we have also Show moving out here in the middle of the map. And, We'll go look at the army here in a couple seconds. I want to see how many kills he's actually going to get out. Oh my god, he just doesn't move his SCBs. Yeah, yeah. Finally moving some, but nine kills already. Yeah, here come the Vikings. Uh, they will definitely be able to take this out. I'm pretty Might sure he has enough. Scan. Yeah, he's definitely going to have to scan. There's a scan coming down. It will 
in deep. Oh, I did take one last SCV that was building that depot. And, uh, ooh, kind of a, a different style coming out of MMA now. He's actually, if you look at the production tab, he's definitely going very, very hard bio, getting those upgrades, getting combat shields. Stim just about to finish. And Sho doesn't really have too big of a force right now. No, Show is pretty light on units because he has taken those extra expansions. He has gone for a lot of mech units with some Vikings as well. But look at that. On the run, stimming to get away. That is never good. The Hellions can yeah. chase those down quite well. And uh, Show, I feel like if he right now you know, just plays a little bit defensively, makes another command center, oh, that would just be amazing. Look look how many factories, man. Jeez. It's like the furniture factory warehouse or something. What is going oh, on? God. You, you've seen those commercials? That, I yes. guess it's been a while. But yeah, I don't live in America. Yeah, yeah, sorry. That's true. You have no idea what I'm talking about. Costco, man. It's got warehouses <laughs> it's like, everywhere. It's just the Costco of factories. Sam's Club. It's not Sam's Club. It's Show's Club, man. <laughs> it's selling 25 cent fake who, Mountain Dews, man. Who is Sam? Sam. What? Sam Walton. Really? Yeah, man. You, you like research this. You're actually the foremost expert on Sam's Club and all the that's history it. behind it. Show is. Uh, Sitting at this Zell Naga Tower, I mean, we talked about this on uh, Zell Naga Caverns, where players will sometimes just set up right here. Not in Siege mode. Uh, I think he saw those um, Marauders earlier mm. on. He doesn't want to... He wants to be able to chase if he actually yes. does yes. come and get attacked. And he can Siege up if he needs to, but uh, I think he learned from that Zell Naga game. He's like, oh, oops. i got to be careful about that. I do not want to overcommit. I do not want to just have my units in the middle. Because, you know, Hellion Tank can be quite quite strong because you're spending all your gas on tanks, but if you're out of position in the slightest, if you're not siege when they stim and press attack move, then you are going to suffer huge losses. Right. We've got some Thors coming out here for show. I love seeing Thors. How many is he actually building? Only just one. Uh, and it looks like we might see an engagement here in the middle of the map. Sensor tower going up. Uh, it's definitely hard to do any drops like that, that, but it's in the middle of the map, so probably just so when he does see those tanks cross the line, mm. he can actually get in their stem, try to take some of them out before they get that's in siege mode and just run point. back. But it, it's actually... I think that's exactly in fact. It's actually you, pretty sir, good. are intelligent. <laughs> Thank you. It's, it's, uh, it's actually kind of smart now that I think about it to put it right there. Yeah. So you can just see whatever is coming in. Oh, a huge drop coming in. Scan going down in the middle of the map, so he will be able to see if Show is going to be moving anytime soon. Uh, but this drop has the potential to just do Dude. so much damage. But Show likes his turret rings, all right? This he guy does. could have been a BGH Islands pro gamer in StarCraft 1. He, I, I am loving it, man. He's like, well, I have extra minerals. I'm going to make a turret ring because drops are good against mech. So he has a sick turret ring right now. And look at this. We have an attack coming down right now from Show, And he has a bajillion sea chase at Thor coming in. He's going to be able to...